Hello Fridlings, I'm back with another food review and today we are reviewing Culver's and this was recommended by Liam quite some time ago then he reminded us on the special donators discord chat you can join in the description down below and if you want to see these Patreon videos come out early you can um, join our Patreon you can see them like one to two three months before uh, the last one that came out was like three months ago and today we are starting with the fries as always the side dish from Culver's we got ourselves a medium fry if i'm correct but before we go any farther this meal cost 10.05 so one of the most decent priced meals and culver's is usually good i'm all the way out in indiana so we'll see how it tastes today so here are the fries from culver's these wavy fries Rah. fries are really good not the best fries in the world, but they are really good. For the fries, you know what? These are some pretty decent fries. I'm not a huge fan with all the potato in these, and I'm not a huge fan of the wavy ones, but these are cooked just enough in the deep fried uh, oil. Um, so it kind of gives it, you know, not that much potato taste, and they're salted pretty good. So I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. The next thing that we're eating on the meal is the uh, single cheeseburger. Um, I usually would go with a double or a, du a double one, but uh, for today's purposes um, and for it being a Patreon video, we're just going to go keep it consistent. It comes with mayonnaise, onion, red onions, pickles, lettuce, tomato, the burger itself, and a piece of cheese. Culver's does know how to make a good burger, and I'm going to take off the pickles before we go any farther. The hamburgers always are really good from Culver's. Um, I don't know what the, how much it costs for the hamburger itself or any of the individual items, but this cheeseburger is so good. Now, I would eat the rest of this on camera because it's that good, but I got to get back to work here. But this hamburger itself is, it's one of the best hamburgers, if not the best hamburgers we have had so far on this channel. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's decently priced because it's not, the whole meal is 10 bucks. So this should have cost maybe 4 maybe even $5. Um, I did get the basket meal, so maybe it lowered it a little bit. But I give it a 9 out of 10. It's juicy. The red onions, I know not a lot of people like onions. The red onions do actually add that just hint of flavor in there. Lettuce, you can't really taste. The tomato is uh, fresh and juicy. Mayonnaise are perfect. Um, yeah, 9 out of 10. It's that good. And our final thing today for our dessert is um, the Oreo concrete mixer. The last time I had a concrete mixer was somebody's birthday. And uh, that was quite some time ago, all the way back in May. So I'm a big fan of Oreos. Let's see if these are real Oreos or cookies and cream. So if you don't know what a concrete mixer is, it's pretty much um, ice cream, like, blended up. Uh, this is good. Okay, the concrete mixer... I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give this a seven. I'm going to give this a seven. Sometimes ice cream's hit or miss, but you know, this is really good. It's small. It's a mini. Um, that's enough ice cream for me. It's about, I think this was $3 and 50 cents uh, from what I saw on the sign. So I do know that's roughly around there. I can't remember what the scores I was and because I have to get back to work now. So I'm going to put the scores up right here while we're eating these fries through time-lapse. Thank you so much, Patreons, for making this video possible. Comment down below in this comment section on Patreon, in our donators chat, or on the YouTube video to see more Patreon content like this. I am Claude from Chicago, and remember, a real friendling makes their own luck.